Right, so I'm going to resolve the signal into its even and odd parts, but this time I'm going to use a graphical method or simply the graphs of the uh, signals. And we will be driving both parts, even and odd parts. So let's start for the even part, right? So uh, let's consider a signal in graphical form. So let's say this is a signal a graphic in graphical form. Let's see the uh, equation that we have actually uh, used in the last tutorial and we have derived in the previous video tutorials. So what was the equation? The equation was x e of t, which means the e signal's even part is basically composition of x of t plus x of minus t. And x of minus t means we need its time reversal, right? So we need to time reverse this signal. So if I'm, I, I will time reverse the signal, I've already explained uh, these things in detail, how you time reverse it. So I'm gonna just do it here in this video tutorial. So time reversal version of x of t will be simply x of minus t, right? As indicated here, x of minus t, and this is the graph of the signal, right? So now we have both things, x of t and x of minus t. And according to this formula, we need to add them up, right? We need to plus them, right? So how are we going to do it? We need uh, a separate graph because this time we are doing it in graphical method. So if I'm going to draw a graph, so let's say this is a graph and I'm going to add these two signals, right? Uh, let's say I'm going to use x of t at minus one right so x of t at minus one its value is what zero and x of minus t at minus one its value is around one so zero that's the zero and that's the one so zero plus one would be what zero plus one would be simply one so at minus one let's say it is what x of t plus x of minus t right? This graph is basically of what? Uh, x of t plus x of minus t, right? So uh, at minus one, uh, zero plus one at minus one amplitude should be what? Minus um, plus one, right? And let's talk about at zero. So at zero, its amplitude is what? One. You can see that x of t and x of minus t is also one. So one plus one would, would become what? Two. So at minus uh, at at time equal to zero, its amplitude would be uh, plus two, right? Next, talk about the next point. Let's say the next point is one. So at t equals to one, its amplitude is one, and at t equals to one, x of minus t is what zero. So zero plus one would become simply one, right? So this is going to be the graph, right? And if I'm going to uh, basically connect these points, the graph of the signal will look like this. And after this time equals to one, it is simply zero, right? And before minus one, it is simply uh, zero, right? So this is the graph of x of t plus x of minus t. But for even part, we just not, don't need to sum them up. We need to also divide them by two, right? Remember this two is also here. This two is also here in division. So we have to divide this graph by two. So let's uh, take one more graph. This is the next graph where we are, where we are going to plot this uh, original signal, right? This, this is going to be the graph of uh, X of ET, which, me, which means it is going to be the even part. We are going to divide this graph, right? So at minus one, the x of t plus x of minus t is what one. So if we are going to divide one with two, uh, so that would become half. So let's say this is the half and this point at minus one, x e of t would become simply half or 0.5, right? At uh, time equals to zero, its amplitude is what two. So uh, we are going to divide it by two. So two divided by two would become simply one. And Similarly, at 
time equals to one, its amplitude is what one, right? Remember this value is what one, right? So we are going to divide it by two. So one divided by two, again, it will become half. So if I'm going to uh, connect these, these points, it is going to be like this. I'm just connecting these points and at t, after t equals to one, it is going to be zero. And similarly, uh, before uh, t equals to minus one, it is going to be zero, right? So that is why the, this will be the graph of the even segment. So that's how you actually uh, draw uh, or resolve a signal into its even part. You need to just add them up and divide by two in graphical form. So that was the all about even part. Let's talk about the odd part. So we will do the same thing using the formula for odd part. So for odd part, I'm going to consider uh, x of t again. And first of all, let me see what is the uh, uh, equation that we are going to use for odd part. So that would be x of t minus x of minus t. So again, we need x of minus t, which means the time reversal. So this is the time reversal. And we need to this time subtract x of t minus x of minus t, right? That means this x, the time reversal version will be subtracted from its original signal, right? So let's uh, have a graph to subtract this in graphical form. So this is the graph which I'm going to use here. So x of t is what zero at minus one and x of minus t is simply plus one. So zero minus one would become minus one. So let's say this is the minus one point in y axis. So at minus one, this point will be simply uh, x of t minus x of minus t. So this graph will be of what? x of t minus x of minus t, right? So we are going to subtract from zero uh, minus one. So zero minus one would be simply minus one. This is a point at t equal to zero. This point at t equal to zero, this is one, simply one. And at t equals to zero, x of minus t is also one. So y, one minus one would become what? Simply zero. So that would be the graphical position of zero in y-axis, right? And now for t equals to one, this is basically one. And this is what? Zero. So one minus zero would be what? Simply plus one. So that will be basically the graphical uh, representation of plus one. And if I'm going to connect these points, this equation, uh, these uh, three points, it will look like this. And we know that before t equal to minus one, the signal will be zero. And after t equal to minus one, signal will be zero. So now this is just x of t minus x of minus t, right? but we need to also perform this division by two. So again, we will use another graph like we did in uh, even case. So let's say this is the graph where we are going to plot the x of minus t. So this is minus one. So now we know that at t equals to minus one, its amplitude, it was minus one. So minus one divide by two, right? Remember this division is involved. Minus one divided by two would become minus 0.5. So it will be somewhere here in, uh, in y-axis, right? Similarly, the, this point at time equals to zero, zero divided by two equals to zero because zero is divided by any number will result always in zero, right? Now the next number is one at time equals to one and one divided by two would become 0.5, which means half, right? So this will be vertical position of in y-axis of 0.5. So if I'm going to, connect these points again, like we did in even case or even parts resolution. So now this is the equation and we know that before t equals to minus one, the signal is zero. And after t equals to plus one signal is also zero. Odd. So this is going to be odd part of the signal, right? And you can actually verify this is the odd part, right? Graphically, we know that if we are going to flip it across y-axis, similarly, uh, we are going to flip it again, again over x-axis. So these both uh, bars of the signal will overlap with each other. Uh, so, uh, so that's the uh, that that that's we already know. So I hope you have understood how one can actually resolve a signal into even and odd parts in using a graphical method. Still, if you have any query, you can post your queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.